Hi everyone, this is CG Seb uh, back for another quick tutorial on how to make the structure of a cockpit uh, for a spaceship, for example, or a plane uh, with Fluent, which is a Blender add on. Uh, you can find the link in the description if you don't have it. So you can pause the video, and once you have it, uh, you can go back. So right now we're going to start with a cube uh, we're going to go to the edit mode <coughs> sorry press uh, ctrl r and make a loop uh, actually two loops like this so you validate by clicking and right click now we're going to use the uh, now we're going to use the button s to scale and X to scale along the X axis. So we're going to go like this. And now we're going to select those uh, vertices. We're going to hit J, G, and X to move it. So what we want to do here is the back of the, of the, the cut bits. So we're going to select here. In edge mode, press G, Z, and make it like this. So this is the back. This is the, the main uh, part of the cockpit, and this will be the front. So now you can go to this mode here, the X-ray mode on top. So you can select all those edges. We're going to hit J, X move it around here so this part in the middle will be the main uh, the main part of the cockpit now what you need to do is uh, select only the front same G X make it around here should be good and what we want to do is make it like uh, like the back so we're gonna select here it J Z so something like this so now that you have we can quit the x-ray mode for a moment now you have your general uh, shape for your uh, cockpit and um, what you can do is add a bevel by pressing F wait, A and then uh, click here add a bevel so here you can see you have bevel. Um, you can see some uh, weird shading here. Uh, this is because the bevel angle is not uh, wide enough. So here you don't have bevel. So to fix that, you can go to the modifier here and out of bevel. And then you're gonna uh, decrease the angle for uh, the bevel to to appear and now you can see we have one so you check the back you see the back is not uh, good so we are gonna go down on this angle again and boom we have it so now we have the the main shape shape and this is a, a fluent object because we added bevel so it converted to a fluent object um the thing is, now you can say, okay, I can use the Fluent Cut. And for example, for the front, if I right click on the face, choose Cut, I can, for example, uh, do this and say, okay, I want to go like this, and this will make the, the front window. But as you can see, it doesn't create uh, the window properly. It's goes inside of the object and this is not what we want so we're gonna exit this mode by pressing escape button and we're going to do it a little bit differently so you're gonna select your main object then press shift D to duplicate and then right click so it stays at the same uh, spot now what we want to do is make uh, the, the 
shape that we duplicated a little bit smaller and inside of this main shape. So to do that, we're gonna press S and we're gonna uh, press uh, Shift Z so it doesn't scale on the Z axis and we're gonna go left a little bit like this. So you see it's inside. To, to see um, more easily what we are doing, we can go to the X-ray mode here and we can see that here we are creating a shape inside of the other one. Okay, so I think we're gonna make it a little bit more. Uh, so it depends here the thickness that you want, but I think it's fine. Now what we need to do is move the inside object, so the one that is currently selected, to the bottom. So we're gonna press G, Z, and then we're gonna go like this. And the space that you see between here and here, and here and here, it's actually the thickness of the structure that will be uh, uh, in the future. So now that you have here, you see it going in the bottom, what you can do is select the outside object, so this one, not the inside one, the outside one, and in the modifiers here, you can add modifier boolean. You move the boolean to the top, and then you're gonna use this icon over there, you select the inside cube, like this. So you may uh, see that it doesn't really change anything, but in reality, it is changing something. So now you can select your inside object and press H to hide it. And now what you can see is that this is like, uh, let me switch to this view. Now this is, inside of it and we have like kind of um, if we zoom in like this we can see here we have a sickness around here and this is what we are looking for and now we can simply make windows by selecting the main object pressing f and then cut now uh, i'm gonna make the main window so i'm gonna right click to show the grid uh, for this window, it's pretty simple because it's like a rectangle. So I can simply use uh, the rectangle tool here by pressing R if you don't have it. I'm going to start from the middle and I'm going to press Shift and Hold Shift. So I can start from the center of the, of the face. Once I'm happy about the window, I left click and then I go on the left until it goes through like this. And now, as you can see, uh, it goes inside the object and we have this uh, thickness over there. And we have like kind of a real uh, structure that we can see uh, in planes and stuff. And we have a good structure. So now we can validate by pressing right click and we have a, a window and it's not like uh, like in, at the beginning like I showed you it goes inside but you have a face uh, in the inside and now you can just uh, select um, the object cut and then make windows as you want let's say we want window on the top like this Boom, you go through and now you can make easily some uh, nice windows. Let's make one on the side, for example. Those are not uh, perfect. Uh, yeah, they're not perfect uh, windows. You can uh, tweak, tweak them, of course. Uh, you can do like this, for example. I'm making squares, but you you would have like a uh, shape like this and let's say I want to duplicate this on the other face 
I'm just left click, uh, old left click, and then select mirror, and then I click on this, and you have this over there. Left click to validate the uh, mirror, right click to validate uh, the cut. So yeah, that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, so if you want to learn more about Fluent and uh, tips like that, please follow me and let me know in the comment section if you are facing any uh, difficulties making this. So yeah, have a nice day. See you on the next one.